Hey guys, this is Bongo, this is Bruno. Now we're going to go for a little hike and we're going to have a heart to heart. I'm going to open my heart, if you could call it that, to you and I will be sharing some ways in which you can, you could most probably beat depression and avoid committing suicide. And yeah, you don't need to, to listen to my story because that's just so boring and this, um, let's focus, let's try to do this on about you, not about me. Uh, but yeah, it's just like many people, I'm depressed just like most people. I, yeah, I tried to kill myself a few times. I was about to jump from balcony once, but then something, there was a phone call, so I didn't. Um, yeah, many people have had some difficult times. That's, I, don't, I don't believe myself to be any, any special, uh, anything special. I, mean, I don't think my experiences have been any more difficult than yours or anyone else's. Um, also, I will leave. I'm just gonna show you the hike, so we can walk together. Imagine you're here walking by my side. This is the hills of Ecuador in South America. I'm I'm also going to leave out the obvious, the obvious stuff which you already know, like eat well and exercise. Yeah, you already know you have to eat well and exercise. That will make you healthy and happy. But you don't need someone to tell you that. I'm going to focus on three things that personally help me besides eating your fruits and vegetables and exercise and don't smoking or don't smoke or not smoking or those things so this is these are three things that i could say probably saved my life more and more than once and these three things i will be sharing with you are the reasons why i have somehow gotten into a very stable mood and emotional <coughs> state in which not only I'm not depressed anymore, but also uh, I don't have any, any mood swings. So I'm never happy one day and sad the next day more than... I'm, I'm very balanced, let's say. Yeah, I have some low days like everyone, but nothing to worry about. And I have also found... I got, I got my ego into a stable place in which is not super big in an arrogant kind of way and also not super low self-esteem where you get depressed and you feel that you're less than everyone else but my ego is, is very sta in a very stable position in which I can develop my passions, my hobbies, understand my place in society without feeling guilty for being better, smarter or having more than others and without feeling down for not being as qualified or not being as I don't know athletic or good at things than other people so let's the first thing that really helped me is very obvious if you've been following me is this little puppy because it's just literally impossible to try to kill yourself or do any kind of harm to yourself if you have someone to look after someone you really care about and even if you don't really care, if, if you have assumed the responsibility of accept, uh, adopting a pet, you should, you should honor that responsibility. No, you, there are no excuses like, oh, I'm depressed or no, or today I, I don't know, I'm moving to other country, I have to abandon my pet, or uh, I don't have money, or I'm, and I want to kill myself. Whatever your excuse is, you, you'll find a way to make it work because there's a strong bond that develops between people and their pets and that bond is just too, too strong that makes you want to be well or look after yourself or because you know she's well not you know your dog is also looking after you and it will be very sad if you if something happened to you not sad in like you like other people will be that they will forget in a few weeks or that they other people usually they they like you or they love you because of something because you're their blood relative because you did something for them because you are you know very important like uh, there was a k-pop star she killed herself a few months ago her, she gohara 
So yeah, people like her because she was famous and pretty, but the dog doesn't care about that. The dog loves you anyway, even if you're not famous and pretty and very rich. So that's the first thing you could consider doing. Of course, I cannot tell you what to do because I'm not in a position to tell someone what to do. <laughs> I just friendly advice. Second thing that really helped me was relocating. So, and this is really, really, really important. You sh this is really very hard truth, uh, something people don't like to hear, they don't like to say, but never, never underestimate the power of relocating. And I think it was more than 50 or 100 times that I just took my, I just took my backpack or, or I know, my book or whatever my personal belongings were at that time and I just had it straight into the, not straight, I just took the bus and, or the, the train to the, or walked into the highway, the entrance of the highway and just stood there hitchhiking when I was very depressed, I was really good way to get over it so I just stood there on the road and wherever people the drivers went I just went with them I didn't have a, a watch or a plan or an objective or, an, or a goal I, I was a person with nothing to lose this was many years before adopting Bongo of course I really had nothing to lose so wherever they go I was open to new to whatever happens to the new life new job new acquaintances, relationships, maybe. Also many times I just, instead of hitchhiking, I, I just went straight to the bus station and I got into any, any bus. Sometimes it was the next bus, sometimes it was the cheapest bus, sometimes it was the bus to a place where I didn't need visa, sometimes it was the bus to a place that I felt like I, I know I wanted to see and I know what you're thinking no I don't have money I cannot do that because the, the reason most people are depressed not probably 80% of people are depressed is because of something related to money and I, I have to tell you that a bus ticket is almost anywhere most places usually cost 10 20 dollars at, at least the 60 something countries I've been to. Uh, in China, you could, like, in, in India, you could be a couple of days on the train for 10, 20 dollars. You could spend a few nights for 20 dollars on the train. In China, you could cross a couple of provinces for 20, 50 dollars, and then you just see what happens and see what, what the new place has to offer. Or if you don't like overland travel, I've also went to the airport and I just approached the counter and I just asked for what's in, if they have a flight to sell and usually they sold me tickets there. So I just got the, sometimes I, I went to a website called Skyscanner that was like a search engine for flights. And I just check what flight is leaving today or tomorrow. What's the cheapest flight anywhere leaving today or tomorrow? I just booked, booked it and that's a new start for me. I never had, I don't think any, I never had any furniture, or if I had, I just left them behind. But I never had any uh, house or car or any very big material possessions that would take a few months to, a few weeks, months or years to sell or to get rid of. So I, I never had anything to lose. Just now I have something to lose right here. And the third, so let's, let's imagine you don't like animals, you hate dogs, and you are already convinced yourself that the dog will not help you because whatever reason. And let's say you don't like relocating because whatever other reason you already told yourself and you trace some <clears throat> mental paths in your brain that says that relocation is not good because you read somewhere. So the, the third way is something that you cannot fail. So if you say no to this, so this is the, the ultimate solution and it's called psychedelic drugs. It could be DMT, could be LSD. Well, yeah, I think LSD has DMT. Yeah. Okay, it could be LSD, could be mushrooms, could be ayahuasca, and it could be, maybe if you don't have, maybe ketamine or something like that. Uh, yes, so they, they have been numerous, numerous studies of using psychedelics to treat depression and it has like very very high 
success rate and in my case it didn't only cure my depression but it only cured everything i i was i had a very <coughs> a very surreal very visceral ayahuasca experience and it didn't only cure my depression but it cured everything all the other problems i had so now i see everything differently for example i used to be very careful my, 